All right, folks, how you doing? WrestleTrueResults303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, along with social media. Coming at you today with a recap on what I did during that six-pack challenge, the Lent diet. I think it was Workout Monster, Monster Workout, something like that. I think it was Workout Monster. Sent me a message, commented on it, wondering what what my height was, what my weight was, when I started, when I ended, you know, just a breakdown of what I did. So here it is. Here's the breakdown of what I did. We got workout here, calories here. So my height is six foot, maybe 5'11 and a half, whatever. I always say six foot. My starting weight was 177 pounds at the gym when I used just that little electric body fat analysis. I was at about 13 when I ended after the 46 days. I was at 167 pounds, so I dropped 10 pounds, and then my body fat went to 10%. All right, so I'll just go into the calories real quick. So calories, week one, I was at 2,400 calories. Then I just did a slow reduction. So week two, I dropped it 200 to 22. Week three, I dropped it a new hundred, uh, another 100 to 2,000. Week four, 1900. Week five, 1800. Week six, 17. Week seven, 1600 calories. For cardio, like I said, uh, I don't know if anyone has seen my jump rope video. You know, there were some big fails on there when I was trying to demonstrate a bunch of the different types of exercises that you could do with a, with a jump rope. So these first six weeks, I did about two days of jumping rope for about 10, 15 minutes and just kind of superseded it with some ab exercises. Other than that, on week seven or that last week of that five days, I did about a mile a day, mile and a half. Other than that, there was no cardio during that weight loss right there. I didn't do any cardio. So we'll go into my workout routine. Legs I did twice a week because I do have small legs. Just trying to build them up. Unfortunately, I was experienced some hip, some hip issues. So it was a boring leg day. To tell you the truth, it was like 20 minutes of leg extensions, 20 minutes of leg curls and some calf raises. Other than that, I really didn't do anything on leg days. And I was doing that twice a week, like I said, just because the hip was acting up and I, I was working on that. Chest I just did once a week, shoulders once a week, back once a week. And this was usually Monday through uh, Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday, I would do upper back and rear delts. So you kind of say I did back twice. And that was just because I, I, have, I have been experiencing a little bit of shoulder pain, shoulder pain. So I'm trying to develop the back a little bit more. That's probably why you saw that the back looked really good in, you know, during this challenge. And then on Sunday, I tried to do arms. You know, like I said, I'm a guy who hates arms. So sometimes I would actually just combine the two of these. And there was a few days where I did some Sunday workouts, but if not, I just combined them and, you know, combined them and, and did them on another day. Let's see. And then towards the end, about week six, week seven, I was able to start leg pressing. So I started leg pressing heavy for me and doing reverse lunges heavy for me. I still wasn't able to squat, still wasn't able to deadlift just because of the hip issue, but lunges and leg press, I was able to incorporate in the last two weeks of the, of the challenge. So there you have it. I mean, that's the basic breakdown of what everything looked like. Calorie count, workout, what my weight was. And then, of course, abs. I'm still not a big fan of abs, but since I was having the lower back hip issue, I did abs almost every day, whether it be some form of a rotational movement or, you know, leg raises, rollouts, crunches, things like that. So abs, I tried to perform four to five days a week during this time frame as well. So there you go. There's kind of the breakdown of what I did, you know, kind of giving you guys, you know, a sample of what it was. You can try to experiment with it yourself. Um, and it's just really about being consistent. That's what it was. That's what I used, like I said, that season of Lent for because I always, you know, any other time of the year, I always say that, oh, I'll follow a diet. I'll follow my diet. Saturdays and Sundays ruin it. I'm not going to lie. 
So, you know, I use Lent as that challenge for me just to really stick to a diet plan and see what, see what happens. There were decent results. I wasn't, I wasn't totally satisfied with them. Um, but now I'll be doing something here for the next probably month and a half, two months. And we'll be coming at you with another video on what kind of transformation happened during this time frame. Uh, maybe try and lean out, put on a little bit more size. We'll see what happens. But once again, thank you for watching. You know, comment on these videos. Let me know what you, you know, your thoughts, your concerns, things that you want to know. Once again, thank you Monster Workout for asking the question so I can make a video on it. And subscribe to the channel, share and like the videos.